What's going on guys? Derek here from VR Dynamite and VRDynamite.com and welcome to the YouTube channel. Now there is a hidden dynamite, looks just like this, but it's not this one, placed somewhere for a brief second in this video. When you see that dynamite emoji, comment down below. Let me know the timestamp of when you saw it and let me know the game you don't own but wish you did for a chance to win that game in a future video. Now let's get into it. Okay, today we are checking out Sam and Max. This time it's virtual. Now this is a game that takes me back to my childhood. It was actually one of the earliest computer games I ever played. My parents wouldn't buy it. I had to go to the bookstore and use the one computer where they had a demo of it. So to be playing it in virtual reality right now, all these years later is pretty friggin' cool. So. Now I must tell you, I was not super interested in this game and I'm hoping it kind of blows me away. So we're gonna get into it, we're gonna play the first 30 minutes and I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna give you my first impressions. And I think what we'll do tomorrow, when this game comes out by the way, we'll do a part two and we'll get a little bit deeper in the game to see if it's worth buying or not, okay? So be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on those notifications and let me know if you wanna see a part two by clicking the like. Okay, let's get into it. Sexy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play standing. I like analog. Um, hand type guy, hand color, extra super duper white, pretty much describes me. Turn subtitles on for those of you who would rather read. Okay, let's get into it. Nice. Oh, it's the menu. You know what, this feels way cooler, way cooler in VR than it does just watching us on YouTube, trust me. Okay, let's get right into it. Okay, so you gotta fold on. Come on, Max. You sure you saw someone under here? Sure as I'm standing here risking a herniated disc. Now he... <laughs> hey, you in there. Are you giving us a hand saving your keister? Just put your arms up and lift. It's a lie, Sam. Ooh, now we're talking. On three. One, two. Uh, uh, someone was under there. Yeah, yeah, with the under. Can we get back to the giant monster now? Hey, you okay, buddy? Looks like you took a pretty good bash to the bonds. I'm sorry. Bash to the bolts. If you were watching British television again. I can't help it. The season was so impressed. It's like a non-stop <laughs> thrill ride. Uh-oh, we've got incoming. Hey. Okay, how do I move? Ouch! Try <laughs> dodging oh, next time, kid. Okay, I can't seem to move. <gasps> Not a good start. Moving isn't working for me right now. I don't think your puffy little body can survive another one of those, Junior. Yeah, I don't either, but I can't move. No! Okay, dodging I can do. Get over here before you get yourself killed. Okay, it's not so a very nice thing to say to someone who's suffering from a dumpster-induced concussion, Max. Sorry, Lumpy. Welcome to the party, kid. Now get down. And thanks for bringing down our unintended casualty count. I'm Sam. He's Max. We're the freelance police. You might recognize us from our breakfast cereals and underground comics. That 50-foot bundle of fun popped up a few minutes ago and started trashing our neighborhood. You should see what it did to our portico. You're adorable when you misuse architectural terms. Anyway, we think we've got a plan to stop this terrifying enigma. But we need someone with five fingers to operate this. Uh, oh, where yeah. were you keeping that, Max? It's classified, Sam. Come to Papa. Also horrifying. Okay, I gotta walk over to it. That's <laughs> the spirit. Okay, kid, here's what we need you to do. 
When I yell go, it? we're gonna no. try to distract Mr. Grumpy Heads. All you have to do is load these rockets into this state-of-the-art rocket launcher. Which we totally didn't steal from a military trade show swag bag. Wait until we've distracted it, point this in the general vicinity of one of the heads, and... Boom! Great big gobs of greasy, grimy monster guts! Do we have a copyright in that? Ready? Set? Go! All right. Hey, big guy! I'm shooting you now! Oh, he's up there, okay. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Let's go. One down, four to go. Look at him, not me. Oh my gosh. Uh, Sam? My hilarious antics aren't distracting you anymore. I was afraid this might happen. It appears that this man... ...try to distract at this time. <laughs> hey, monster! Look over here while I read you your rights. You have the right to get blown up. If you don't want to get blown up now, that's too okay. bad because you're going to get blown up now. You have to blow him up, kid. <sighs> Rabbits, now the critter won't pay any attention to me. Just like Debbie at the health club. Maybe we should try to distract him together <laughs> with the oh, gift of music. You really got to dodge. <laughs> Two down, two more to go. Got my glasses around my neck. Oh, throwing me off here. Working. Yes. A pity. Hey, what happened to all those fireworks we didn't get to shoot off last year? Good idea, Sam. All monsters are entranced by the hypnotic power of life-giving fire. Fireworks. One left. Okay. No matter bullets stop though. Now. Stop chasing. There's one more over here. Ah. There's no, uh... You're all out of distractions! Just keep shooting! I thought you'd never uh. ask! Boom. Yeah. Uh, we need to find some cover, Max. That thing's twitching like a grammarian in a chat. Hey, look! It shrunk! <laughs> they don't usually do that. Maybe it just got out of the pool. Oh, they're back you here. Okay, okay, kid? Bumpy's fine, Sam. Those dilated pupils and twitching eyebrows are the signs of a true hero. You know, Max, you may be onto something. I am? Kid, you've got moxie, nerve, spunk, and an overall joie de vivre that's downright refreshing in this mechanized age. Ah. As it so happens, the freelance police are looking to expand their ranks, and we could use a gutsy go-getter like you. Oh, please, Sam, don't. So what do you say, kid? Do you have what it takes to become one of the few, the odd, Let's the marginally compensated? I'm begging you. Do you want to join the freelance police? Ah. Nice. Don't delay. Sign up today. I'll take it. Are you stuck in a dead end job that makes you want to blah blah blah? Okay, we're in the hallway. Let's go. Let's power through this. Hey, were you raised in a sewer? You literally got a knock. No, we're not. Come on in. Okay, hold on. Let's look at the window. Ah. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, let's go. Let's get this going. Seriously, come on in. Oh. Okay, that's a little. You can't go through Hello. objects. There we go. Hey. Oh, it's you. Welcome, kid. Did you fill out that form we gave you? It's right here, Sam. Look at that. VR here, Dynamite. Hold this for me. We haven't been formally introduced. But I'm Sam, and this is my huggable partner, Max. Please don't hug me. We're the freelance police. Selfless <laughs> wranglers of scurvy gutter trash, supernatural botherers, and vermin of all stripes. I'm less a vermin and more of a lagamore. Crime never sleeps around here. So we need quality cadets like you with limited career options and leaders of type O blood. It looks like you've already filled out an application form. Great. I'll just enter all your data into old Vicky here. In the meantime, Max will give you a basic aptitude test to make sure you can walk and chew gum at the same time. 
Rise All and right. shine, Lumpy. You're about to take a one-way ticket to H.E. Double Hockey Sticks with yours truly as a tour guide. I'm gonna turn your flabby, useless body into a lean, mean, freelance police and machine. Do you understand me? Just show him the checklist, Sergeant Rockhead. Over there is a checklist of basic tasks. If you complete them without accidentally bursting your appendix, I may allow you to continue your training. Okay. Let me move. Here we go. Okay. It's hard to read far away. Resolution is not the best, but I gotta make you coffee. I gotta do the dartboard. Roach Buster. Make lunch and punch the clam. The clams are here. Good drawing. Okay. Punch. That's Mr. Jingles, our stress relief clown. Give it a good smack or two. Whoa. It's very relaxing. Okay, definitely something's Ew, up with the, the physics like in this game. like a tubercular barfly. Okay, hold on. Am I supposed to punch him in the nose that many times? All right, kid. Done. I think Mr. Jingles has had enough for one day. Check. Okay, let's make lunch. We will make... Hey, good for you. Pogos. Got my breakfast corn dogs. Didn't work. Just oh. so you know, I like my corn dogs like I like my, uh... Ah. Max isn't good with similes. Like what? <laughs> Are you sure we want Lumpy using the microwave? His yes. warranty ran out three popes ago. It's okay. It'll be fine, Max. Make three bursts of radiation build character. A warm lunch. And two bursts. Corn dog, 20 seconds. Let's go. Let's mm, make him a coffee. Sweet I love the acoustics on those things. They're great for uh, listening in on conversations. Oh. And beer. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, it doesn't fit in there. Okay, corn dog's done. Hot. Let's go bring him a couple. Here you go. Mmm, crunchy, chewy. Just Get a lunch. hint of pig lips. Not bad, Lumpy. Okay, dartboard and coffee. I gotta make a coffee. Here's a coffee cup. That's my prize Joe mug. I take mine with a shot of cream and two scoops of sugar. Okay, so I'm and getting a little... just a hint of danger. A little job simulator kind of gameplay here if you never played that. This is a good way to start. Okay, how does he like it? He just told me and I wasn't listening. Okay, well, let's just make it. Let's, uh... And cream. Some sugar. Don't forget, and one shot of cream and two scoops of sugar. Two scoops of sugar, okay. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, it emptied out. Okay, hold on. One. One cream. Two sugars. You can only do one at a time. Okay, let's not spill it. Here we go. Here you go. Enjoy that. Put it right on the... There you go, sir. It's good. Good. Ah, that's the stuff. Perfect. Uh, sorry help. I was a little rough on you earlier. I'm it's a complete okay. animal until I get my morning Joe. You didn't have your coffee. And afterwards, he's just some sort of grumpy half-dog, half-human thing. Dartboard over here. Can it, fuzzball. Oh, ho, ho, okay. Throw any weapon. Oh, oh these are fun. It's three of my favorite top eight sharp toys. Yeah, what if I can I We stab? need to know if you can hit the broadside of a barn with your throwing. Yeah. Live it up, gas bag. I won't forget this. Okay. Nope. Way no. Me. Not me. What? What? <laughs> I don't get it. I gotta go around. I don't get what he wants. Okay. Oh my goodness. One, there we go. Did I get it yet? No. Sword. Axe throwing. I'm getting better. Look at the consistency. Oh, never mind. Okay, done. Roach Buster. That'll be some sort of vacuum. 
Looking for like a vacuum somewhere. Vacuum. Well, vermin, how about that? While you're poking around the lacy unmentionables in our closet, would you mind taking <laughs> out some of those cockroaches with my six gun? Take that, you evolutionary throwback! Oh, I got two of them already. I didn't even see them. Don't be shooting Ew. at the office, Sam. Oh, he's still alive. He lives. Shot, kid. Now put my gun back before you're overwhelmed with cockroach bloodlust. Okay, I think I did it Do all. Do cockroaches even have blood, Sam? Oh. Hey, Sam. Luppy's all done with the aptitude tests. Eat those. How I made those three. Somewhere between brain dead and unformed pile of clay. Just how we like them. I got some more typing to do here, but that can wait. Anytime you're ready to head on over to our training grounds, just give me a holler. Let's go. Do I do something here? That's a moon rock. We make sure to grab a few every time we go to the moon. They make great stocking stuffers. Oh dear. That's Dr. Dills, the yellow green soda that the astronauts refuse to drink. It's only sold by unlicensed food trucks and carny folk. I am Dozetatron, prime attractor of the fourth abysmal realm, Lord Regent of the Agony Void, and King of the Nightmare Gods. Prepare to. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I just realized I have the wrong number. This is so embarrassing. Uh, it's just these tentacles, you know, they're. They aren't really made for cell phones. And, uh. Oh, okay, uh. You ready to start your training? Yeah, how? Alrighty then, it's time to gird your wits and steal your loins for the challenges of the freelance police training grounds. Sounds good. Yeah, Let's go. Helping you like pain. Here we are at the Freelance Police Academy of Remedial Crime Busting and Planetary Protection. Sorry about the bumpy drive, but there's two pounds of lead embedded in my right foot. As you can see, the academy has been built on the remains of Cap Mockwa Bear's Funtime Park. A colorful seaside amusement park F that closed down in park. 2005 under mysterious time. circumstances. By mysterious, he means it went broke. And by colorful, he means psychologically scarring and full of asbestos. In order to complete your training, you'll need to receive a passing grade in 10 sanity-defying challenges. Actually, it's nine, Sam. The Supreme Court just ruled that the 10th one was, quote, cruel, unusual, and lacking pizzazz. Okay, fine. Nine challenges. Once you pass the first three, we'll let you try the next three, and so on. Oh wait, I almost forgot. We'll be tracking your progress with these special bracelets we confiscated from one of the many mad scientists we've jailed over the years. Put Just stick out either hand and Max will slap it on. Slap it on. Slap! Okay, kid, you're good to go. Whenever you're ready, just saunter over to the challenge of your choice and we'll tell you what to do and where to shoot. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's for people who like reading. I wish there was a way to sprint. I will say this is a little tiny bit slower than I like. Hey, guys. Oh, you're just going to follow me. I get it. Okay. What should we do here? Be sure to visit Bosom Bob's Moody Boutique, where kids of all ages can wonder authentic aqua bear of Nice. Well, we gotta go to the bombs where you are via dynamite. Ah, there you are. With. As you're probably aware, the life of a freelance police officer is fraught with all sorts of dangers. <laughs> yeah, like using the word fraught with a straight face. Oh, Holy hey. hopscotch and Hayek, Max. <laughs> the brains of three of our nation's greatest entrepreneurs have been replaced by fiendishly clever time bombs. I hate when that happens. We'll help you defuse them with some online manuals we've dug up on the dark web. Your examination begins now. The first thing you need to do is open up the head of Thomas Edison here like a ripe mango. The manual says there should be a screw, bolt, or wires somewhere on the side of the head. Move it around to find the right one. Then open her up. Gently. My name is Thomas Alva Edison. Tesla? Never heard of him. Looks like wires. There we go. Grab the wire cutters. Good. Got him. Now listen to the order of the colors. Don't mess up. Yellow. Uh, excuse me. Yellow. Green. Blue, green. Good job. Now don't touch anything yet. It's a fail-safe system, Max. 
The heads have tells to choose the correct action, but the rest are lies that'll make it go kaboomskis. But which one is the right one? Well, according to the manual, his eyes will turn Excuse red me. when he's telling the truth. Red means truth. When he says poke me, poke him in the eyes! No, 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 no. Okay. When he says boop me, tap him on the nose. Boop. Poke. Boop. Poke me. Boop me. Boop. Plunge me. Poke me. Oh, I'm terrible. Poke okay. Me. In the Poke eyes. Me. Me. Okay, why, what am I doing wrong there? His eyes will punch? turn red when he's That's telling the truth. Oh, duh. Book me. Book me. Plunge me. Not turning red. I get it. Poke me. Poke. Book me. Boop. That looks like a flathead. Pick up the flathead screwdriver to take it off and open it up. Red. Oh. Yellow. Red, yellow, blue, white. Okay. You know that little light bulb that goes on over your head when you have a good idea? Smack. I own that. He looks up when he's telling the truth. Plunge me. Poke me. Boop me. No, he looks left. Me. Looks like wires. Uh -huh. Grab the wire cutters. Yellow. Yellow. Black. White. Nothing emboldens the spirit of innovation more than a robust system of capitalism Twist. and patent attorneys. He looks to his left when he's telling the truth. Okay. Twist me. Plunge me. Oh, he looked right. Twist me. Fall for it again. What? Twist me. Plunge me. Oh, plunge. That's he twist. He looks to his left oh. when he's telling the truth. Well, that's my right. Twist okay. me. Let's go. Plunge me. Smack me. Twist me. No, nope, no. Nope. Uh, this is twist me. not hard, but I suck. Plunge. Smack me. Smack. Twist me. Twist. Smack me. Poke me. Boop. Plunge me. Poke me. Smack me. That looks like a Phillips head. Get the Phillips screwdriver to take it off and open the head. Yank. This is a box. He's bag. telling the truth <laughs> a, when his eyes are green. Okay. Let's twist do this. Me. Which one's twist again? Boop me. Oh, what? Twist me. Oh, his eyes dumb. Okay. Boop me. No. Plunge me. Poke me. Plunge me. Boop me. Yank me. Yank. Poke me. Plunge me. Not green eyes. Twist me. Plunge me. Looks like you defused my bomb. Aha. Congratulations. Of course, if I'd built it, it would have exploded. Impressive time, kid. Yeah, but can you do it while hanging upside down in a piranha tank? Eh? Hmm. Nicely done, cadet. You've officially passed the Bombs Away Challenge. Good deal. You can train a chimp to disarm a bomb, 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 bomb. Hey, Sam, we should train a chimp to disarm a bomb. I gotta be... I did terrible. I did terrible. Okay, next. We can move. Okay, let's go to the boat. Something we can do over Is here. Is that moon rock we donated to the park back in '92 still here? Fun fact, it's still glowing. 
So this game is about what I expected so far, I would say. It's not blowing me away, but it's not terrible. If you like Vacation Simulator, this is up your alley. It's, uh, I would say it's definitely a way more grander scale than Vacation Simulator. I really wish there was a sprint. I should have selected Teleport. Um, I recommend you select Teleport because maybe you can just travel faster. I wish I could do both to tell you the truth. I feel like most games use my buddies. Hey, look at that swagger. Let's go over here. Circle of Carnage. Let's I see it. your eye has wandered over to our Circle of Carnage. Along Let's with the it. rest of your mi- Welcome to the Circle of Carnage. Carnage! 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 We fudged together the park shooting galleries to test your firearm skills while being overstimulated by a hideous panopticon of garishness. I saw panopticon, panopticon. of garishness at the Crown Plaza back in 98. Your weapons are on the table in front of you. Try oh, not yeah. to shoot any civilians. Or us. We're gonna go someplace safe. Oop. First up, it's the Old West Shoot-Em-Up. Uh, why are the bank robbers king? Two guns. Because this was built in Australia, where 95% of the fauna would just as soon kill you as look at you. So they never taught me really how to reload. Okay. I just just throw you guns like boomerangs, eh? Beauty! Take that, you no know, good Vegemite eating. Reload! Vegemite. Ugh. Reloading doesn't make total sense, it's just kind of. and other monstrous and oh, therefore here. socially okay. acceptable okay. targets. I hate it when the Ooh, dead don't soaker. stay on their side of the vein. Do I gotta pump it? Nope. Maybe we should use the classic slow zombies for this bit. Come on, kid. It's not that scary. Hey, that, you played out cultural phenomenon. Remind me to leave you behind during the next zombie apocalypse. Oh, get okay. These guys are already mostly dead. Just give them a little push. They're like There's no way to shoot a handgun, kid. Mm -hmm. Way to clear out those deadites with your boomstick, kid. Reload! Yeah, this super soaker is definitely harder to uh, aim. Okay. I'm sure if I actually make it. Running flesh is making me oh, hungry for no. tea. What's going on? Okay, that was, eh, it was okay. It was only 30 minutes. Uh, it did feel like it was moving a little bit slow. Everything felt a little bit 
simple. It just felt simple. That's the only way to describe it. None of the jokes or the dialogue really pulled me in. I never had a real laugh out loud moment and it was clearly trying to entertain me. It was trying to make me laugh and it just didn't hit. Now that could just be me, but the easiest, well not the easiest, but the best way to compare this game is to something like Job Simulator or Vacation Simulator where it's just kind of so far simple tasks. Now we're gonna play this again tomorrow. We're gonna to get a little bit deeper in the game, you know, cause I'm still really in the tutorial. I haven't really got into the actual meat of the game. I'm, I'm assuming all these little skills we're learning, you know, they're gonna play a role. So I'm not gonna make a final judgment on this game. You're gonna have to come back tomorrow and see what it's like after I've played it more. But right now I'll say, if you like Job Simulator, if you like Vacation Simulator, well, this game's probably up your alley. I did find those other games a little bit funnier than this one, but who knows, we'll keep getting into it. At least it's uh, trying to be unique. The graphics look nice. You know, the voiceovers are, you know, what I come to expect from a Sam & Max franchise game. Um, it hits in a lot of places, but it's also missing in a lot of places. We just gotta play it more, but we're 30 minutes in, I'm not hooked. But you know what, I felt this way when Floor Plan 2 came out. It looked a little too simple, it looked a little too thing, and it got actually very entertaining and a lot deeper of a puzzle than I anticipated. So I'm hoping this doesn't let me down, and I'm hoping this is gonna be the same thing. But yeah, for now, we saw the gameplay, come back tomorrow, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications, and you should get a notification that part two of this video is out. Okay, thanks so much, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I